Yo, 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 what's going on? You're now tuning in to the old five six family show. And I'm coming to you guys with a new topic that's very interesting. By the way, just the host. As usual, Shot Town IK. And I'm coming with this very interesting topic called Cheat Code. And um Cheat Code is going to be a very interesting topic because it's dealing with relationships um, and more so choices. So the choices that you choose to deal with regarding a significant other, right? So you got situations out here with people, cheats in relationships, right? Whether it's a man cheating on a woman or a woman cheating on a man. Now, the thing is, is, okay, we know that the cheater is is, is at fault, no matter what, right? That's something we, we can agree on and we can understand. Now, let's just say that person cheats and you're aware of it, okay, and you forgive them, right? Then they cheat again and again and again and again, right? Now, is it still the cheater fault or is your fault now? And I know a lot of women going to be like, what you mean? How is my fault and he the one that cheated? Well, you got to hold yourself accountable. It's because if the person cheated, and you keep taking that person back, um, you, you're no longer in a situation where you say, well, you was robbed from a choice. So you open up that door, which accepting him or her to cheat. Now, you might say, I, am, I don't accept that. I don't accept that. I don't accept that. But if a motherfucker cheated on you 10 times, you mean to tell me, you ain't accept it all 10 times? Mm. Think about it. So now you get to the point where you understand this now. Now, I understand you love and you in love with a person and, you know, maybe kids involved or it's a marriage. It's a marriage or whatever. But you allow yourself to be at fault for one reason and one reason only. You chose to deal with a fucking cheater. Now, you cheated yourself. Knowing the fact that you had the choice right then and there, but you choose not to make that choice, you chose to stay. You might as well hail yourself accountable period no period there's no such thing as oh this that and that no 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 you accepted that so if a motherfucker cheat on you 10 times why even bitch about it it's because you allow him to cheat or allow her to cheat multiple times on you and you didn't caught the motherfucker multiple times and you kept taking the motherfucker back it's because you love that person and and they say the most sweetest thing uh and and want forgiveness and then you get all tender dick and tender pussy just being honest with you so how in the fuck that's like I, i'm in a relationship right and, and, and we're going to use me an exa- as an example, right? Let's say, um, well, my woman threw the dough. She ain't dealing with that cheating shit um, through the dough. You cheat. Ain't no it all depend on the situation, nigga. It's out the fucking door. Now, motherfucker can't say it all depend on the situation, but fuck that. Come on now. Once once you cheat, it's over with. <laughs> it is over with. And then the cheater. Now, 
let's just say, for far as the cheater, right? Let's say you did all this motherfucking cheating and shit. And then motherfucker turn around and cheat on you and now you mad. How the fuck could you get mad? You doing the same shit. Now, why would I, that's like, why would I get, if I'm cheating, why the fuck would I get mad if my woman cheating on me and I'm out here doing the shit? Now, the thing is, okay, I cheated, you cheated. Is 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 this even worth us staying together? No matter how much we love each other. See me, I love a motherfucker enough to the point where like I love you enough to just let you go. It's because I love me a little bit more. So giving a person a choice. Now a motherfucker say the sweetest things in the world for you to, you know, come back and Get, come back into their life and be a whole or try to be a whole, be as one. Just know when you do that, you accepting the open door for him or her to cheat again. Talk to my sister uh, a little while ago. Uh, I was going to have her on a panel, but she, you know, she wasn't feeling that well. My allergies acting up, so excuse me. Excuse me for that. And, um, she said something very interesting. Very interesting. Now, because see, me and her, we go back and forth. And and look, my sister, she'd have put me on game when it comes to women, as far as how they think, how women play games, like every fucking thing. She, she showed me how to move around a lot of that shit. So that's how I'm able to understand uh, what I understand about women. Because it's a certain way. That a woman want to be treated, it's a certain way a woman want to be touched, it's a certain way a woman want to feel, it's a certain way a woman want to look at you, and things like that. So she she blessed me with some of that that knowledge of women. But very interesting. She, now, I told her a situation, told her a story that was told to me. All right, we ain't gonna get into the details, but um. When some shit don't make sense, when a person tells you something, it don't make sense it's because the question I would ask, like, well, why would a person tell you that? First of all, that don't make sense. Like, if a person cheating, <clears throat> right, a, a person just cheating, why would they tell their other significant other the moves they are making? Hmm. Now this is the flip side A lot of people want to play victim But You can't always have a person Looking at one side It's always two sides to the story And then you have the truth Some people just Be at the breaking point of the end Point blank period Who's to say that the motherfucker that's doing the complaining ain't the one that's doing the dirty shit too? So you think it's right for you to do dirt because another motherfucker did something dirty? Some motherfucker be like, hell yeah, an eye for an eye, two for a two. But guess who suffers at the end? Guess who hurts more? Yo ass. It because if you was, I don't want to say dumb, but if you was in a situation where you taking the motherfucker back consistently after they then did something, that's like saying, okay, I give you a prime example. If a, and then some, I, I I I asked my sister, and she, you know, she always coming back with the with the snaps. Like, look, <laughs> if you was in a previous relationship, right? Well. Your significant other, whether this man or woman, was abusive to you. The next situation you go into, right? You say, "Look, I ain't with that hidden shit. I ain't with that. Put your hands on me, blase, blase." I done been in an abuse relationship before, and then some happened, and then that motherfucker just haul off and just still on you, and then you 
would you forgive them for hitting you after you didn't let it be known this some shit that you're not going to tolerate? Or are you going to give them a second chance? What's love got to do with it, right? I don't give I me mean, I don't give a fuck how many times a motherfucker tell you sorry. If a motherfucker going to beat your ass, a motherfucker going to keep beating your ass. Until you sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting your ass whooped. Same shit with cheating. If you sick and tired of a motherfucker cheating on you, why would you keep opening up that door for them to cheat on you again? So now you got to ask yourself the question, do you love yourself more? See, people walk around and act like they know who they are. But deep down inside, they really don't. It's because they still accept and tolerate dumb shit, bullshit that they don't have to tolerate or go through. So in that situation, a motherfucker did not rob you from a choice. You robbed yourself from that choice. And you have to take ownership to that. Most people don't want to own up to their fuck up. But see, me painting the picture uh, in your mind to get you to see and understand, like, it's the best thing ever I can do for you. It's because you have to realize every fucking thing. So when I say you at fault, motherfuckers say, how am I at fault? How am I at fault? You at fault is because you keep allowing this shit to happen to you, knowing that it's going to hurt you. So point the finger at yourself. See, that's like a lot of women and a lot of men say, oh, I ain't finna do it. My, my sister said something. Get back into that. I'm going to this right now. Because I had lost lost that thought for a second. But I got it now. She said, let's just say, right, it's a fucking prostitute, right? That A real prostitute sell pussy and everything. And a man love her and he accepted her for who she is. And he decided to be with her. Then what? So I said, okay, cool. Now, now this is what I said. I said, well, if, if the man know that she's a prostitute and he accept the fact that she's a prostitute, but he feel like it's some type of hope for her. If she go out there and fuck a nigga for some motherfucking money, that's his fault. It don't have nothing to do about judging the character. Is you know what the fuck you signed up for. So who's at fault? You at fault because you chose that. So if you told that, why bitch about it? Why why complain? That's like saying I'm I'm in a relationship with my woman, right? And my woman say, uh, look, I don't, I don't wanna give you no more fuck, I don't wanna give you no more pussy until we married. And I'd be like, uh shit, what, huh? Now that's my choice. E either either I can accept that or I can say, hell no, nah. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Regardless of what I think, now you giving me a choice. Now I'm able to choose whether I should keep fucking around, fucking with you, and and, and waiting till we get married, or or I should just move the fuck around. Cause how the fuck we together, and you ain't giving me no motherfucking pussy. Fuck is wrong with you? So let's just say, okay, I accept it. Yeah, I, I, I'm willing. Cause I love you. I'm willing to. But you see that motherfucker go to come go to bed with some sexy ass shit on, and your shit harder than the motherfucker, right? And you be like, damn. And you just hold her and you touch, you grab me like, damn. Look, and you try to play with that motherfucker one time. She let you rub on it, but you take the motherfucker joints off and then you jump on top, and try to stick. Uh 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 uh. Remember you said we going you you agree we gonna wait to marriage. And you just start flipping the fuck out. Talking about some man, this, that, and the third. How can you be mad at that, man? How can you flip out? You agreed to it. So, nigga, you at fault. 
Could you ask him to agree to some shit that you know you ain't cool with? Point blank period. Point blank period. If you know you're not okay with it, deep down inside, I don't give a fuck how much you love a motherfucker. Love yourself a little. You you can love yourself a little bit more than you love that motherfucker. It's because everybody going to a situation with standards. Now, motherfucker can be reasonable. Motherfuckers can compromise. Motherfuckers can have an understanding. But you mean to tell me when it comes to a choice and... and it, what, what what you gonna say? That motherfucker robbed you from a choice? How? How? Oh, well, they wasn't like that in the beginning. You sure? So a motherfucker did all this shit right in the beginning. And then all of a sudden they just started cheating on you. So my question is, what did you do to make that motherfucker cheat on you? What the fuck do this side piece got that your ass ain't got? So you you got to start looking t- looking at yourself. And motherfuckers say, huh, what you mean? No, look at yourself by understanding who the fuck you are. Having knowledge of yourself. Loving yourself. It's because when you have that, You always got a fucking choice. Now, you got some women out here that shit, you fuck up the first time, it's a cutthroat. Uh Uh-huh. Gone somewhere. I'm cool. No, I'm sorry, baby. Come on, take me back. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I I, I ain't mean to. It was just a mistake. It was a mistake. Uh, I I promise I won't do it again. Some motherfuckers be like, man, get. I done heard that shit before. Get mm -mm, mm -mm. Gone some motherfucking well. See, I get that. Even when you got kids involved. Right? Now, been in the situation with kids involved and shit. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm mm. I'm not finna settle for certain shit. I'm sorry. That's why uh, me and my kids' mother ain't work out. Because I'm cool. I'm not settling for that shit. And you got some guys that is cool with settling for what the fuck they they want them to settle for. Like, me, uh-uh, fuck all that shit. The best thing you can have in life is a fucking choice. It's your decision. Now, why would you allow yourself to compromise your choices? Fuck this. Fuck what a motherfucker did to you. What did you do to yourself? What did you do to yourself? Stop looking and and every and a lot of people do, does that these days. Like they look at other people before they look at themselves. Regardless of what a motherfucker did to you or didn't do to you, how in the fuck you not looking at yourself first? See, you're the reason. You're the reason that shit is happening to you is because you keep allowing that shit to happen to you. It's nobody else's fault but yours. Point blank period. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. And and it's not like I said, it's not a a, a, a man thing, it's not a woman thing. Not like I ain't like I'm not a biased person. If a woman did some fucked up shit to a man, she did some fucked up shit to a man. If a man do some fucked up shit to a woman, he did some fucked up shit to the woman. Now, it boils down to what you gonna do? You know what? Fuck it, I... What they say? Fool me once, shame on you twice or some shit? Whatever the fuck that old saying is. Like, come on, man. It's better ways. Stop acting like you don't have the fucking mindset and the strength to make a choice. Regardless of how much you love a person. Now, love is a motherfucker. It's strong as shit. But you don't have to be a fool when you love yourself. 
a little bit more. So understand that. So don't be too quick to be like, oh, this motherfucker did this. This motherfucker did that. Like, what the fuck? Damn. What is it that I'm, I, I'm everything this motherfucker? I'm everything a man wants. Are you sure? Because what makes you think a man want a woman that he can run over? He could take advantage of some men out here don't want no woman he could take advantage of. You know, I cook, I clean. Same shit for a man, too. It's a lot of women out here don't want no, you know what I'm saying? Don't want no man that they, they, they can control and run over. Period. Give a fuck. What all you do? You can suck a motherfucker so good. You can cook and clean, do all this shit, do all kind of shit for a motherfucker. That still don't mean a motherfucking thing. When a motherfucker got their own agenda. So now, it goes hand in hand with this other one, with that finessing in the relationship. So now a motherfucker that finesse your ass is because you allow a motherfucker to finesse you. It's not fair. It's not fair. But also, it's not fair to you for you to ignore you. See, one thing I understood about women, some good women, some women can see the sign before it even happens. Being honest, some women intuition be on point. Some of them be like false, like false as shit. Same shit with men. No, 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 don't get me wrong. Motherfuckers got the got the best intentions in the world to do what's right. Everything right. But by you being ignorant towards yourself and ignoring yourself, you'll be a lost fucking call. And now you gotta go back through the process of relearning yourself. And because some motherfuckers guess what they do. Once they done the situation, they don't even work on themselves. They'll work. They'll, they'll just say, fuck it, I'm going to work with another motherfucker and just build with them. Hell nah, get yourself together first, man. And because when you get yourself together first, you won't keep falling into that same category of these men or these women fucking you over. Pardon me, I'm going to take a drink of water. Y'all don't mind. Give me a second. Now let's call it a spade for a spade. Learn yourself, man. Love yourself more. Some people say it it ain't that easy. Yes, it is. It's easy. The same way it's easy for you to spread your legs to a motherfucker, it's, it's, it's easy to motherfucking love yourself a little bit more. Way easier. That's no excuse. That's no excuse. See, a motherfucker going to tolerate what they want to tolerate. Period. And if a motherfucker, and if you're doing a motherfucker wrong, man, and that motherfucker, man, let that person go, man. Stop holding that person hostage. Excuse me. Stop holding their emotions hostage. Stop holding their mind hostage. Let them the fuck go, man. Because you, if you can't do right by a motherfucker, man, let them go. Because not only is it not fair to them, it's not fair to you. It's because you going to lose something even greater within yourself. And what you do to that person, a motherfucker going to do it right back to you. I understand. Sometimes they say the hardest thing is to let something that you build go. But if 
it wasn't built right in the first place, why even give a fuck about letting it go? Let the shit go. Why would you give a fuck about saving it? Like that old saying. Why well, fix something that ain't broke? Well, give it a little give it a little bit more time, it'll break. Cause everything break after a while. But see with me, big this a bit different. The moment I see shit breaking. Ain't no fixing. Because it's 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 on the verge of, of breaking. People believe in saving a broken situation. But they be broken in the inside. So how the fuck could they even save a broken situation if they can't save them broken cells? See, you got to open up your mind and start thinking and start realizing who you really are. Who you really are. Loving yourself is the most precious shit that you could ever do for yourself. Loving yourself is better than riches. Being rich, I ain't going to lie. Because the richest motherfucker don't even love themselves because of what they have to do. So, understand that. Get in tune with who you are. See, go to that fundamental of loving yourself. And because if you care about yourself like you really do, you won't keep choosing a motherfucker to do you wrong. But it's a lesson. Sometimes you got to go finish the lesson. But if it's a lesson where you know the end into it, what's the purpose of finishing it? You already know the outcome of that lesson. Shit. Some motherfuckers right on point. Some motherfuckers lay bloom. They don't get it right until years pass. But you got some motherfuckers that say, man, this shit ain't going nowhere. Why keep why keep trying to save it? Or why keep working this shit out? You keep doing the same, same, same shit and you coming with these, oh baby, I love you. This, that, and the third. And you won't even make the attempt to even make it right. Even if a person forgive you. But if a person do some shit and you say, okay, I forgive you. Let's move forward. No need to bring that shit the fuck back up. No need to be insecure. No need to even lose trust issues. It's because you forgave that motherfucker and you opened up the door to be willing to say, okay, we're going to let this shit go and move forward. Motherfucker, you got a little happy with yourself. I get it. I get it. But see me, I'm, I'm kind of different. Ain't, ain't no need for me to cheat shit. Because, hell... I can say this shit. Might as well get another motherfucker female shit. If your girl fuck with another female, she down with threesomes and shit. Yeah, I asked for that shit. But if I know she ain't down with that shit, fuck it. It's just me, you, and, and these hands. Shit. The fuck? <laughs> Motherfuckers, are you cheating on me? Yeah. Yeah. I did. When you was at work and I was off. I had some motherfucking a good ass fun time with myself. But, you know, I was I was watching all that freaky shit you sent me. Smack, 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 smack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm strong for you now when you come in the house. I'll be ready. Simple shit. So I always understand this. You do have a choice. But the choices you make. Make sure you is willing to pay the price of the choice you make. Stop allowing yourself 
to fall victim for some shit that you know you chose. Don't play victim. I don't give a fuck what you say. Do not play the victim knowing damn well you continue to go forward with that person, even though they did you wrong. Like I say, whether it's a man in the situation or whether it's a woman in the situation, either or, either or. So cheat code. Please subscribe to the YouTube, the Old Fast Six Family YouTube, and keep tuning in to the Old Fast Six Family show. Um, I'm be coming to you guys with. With, with, with more interesting topics. And, and see these topics that I come up with is is just it didn't even take me long. A situation happened right then that moment, boom, put the shit together. That's what I'm talking about. So I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but peace, happiness, and prosperity. And, and remember, you have a choice. You don't blame nobody if you make that choice to stay with that person. Blame yourself. Take full accountability and take full responsibilities of your action. And because if you accept that shit, all you're doing is saying it's okay to keep going out and fucking off on me. And the motherfucker that's doing the dirt, doing the dirt, man, let that person go. Stop tearing that person down. Stop hurting that person. You know that motherfucker can't shake your, ign your ignorant ass because it's too much shit they love about you. But some motherfucker just can't. You you can't, don't make a motherfucker suffer for that with that kind of hurt. It because what you doing? Guess what? Motherfucker gonna do it right back to you. The universe always have his way with your motherfucking ass. Period. You can't run from it, and you damn sure can't hide from it. Accept the fact that was what's finna happen. So, once again, tuning in to the O Five Six Family Show. I'm the host, Shatown IK, and I'm coming to y'all with some of the most beautiful is. Um, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, you name it. I, I love to help people. I love to give people game, but I want you to really pay attention to this and understand exactly what I'm saying. Don't get it confused. Please don't. Understand. Pay attention. It's all about choice. You have that right to choose what you want to do. If you're not okay with some shit, you're not okay with it. You don't have to deal with it. Stop forcing yourself to deal with shit that you don't have to deal with. Yes, it's hard because you love a person. It, it is. Trust and believe me. It is. But. It, it's going to be even harder when you don't love yourself. That's all I got for you guys. You guys have a peaceful night. And I love y'all. And be safe out here. And remember, the choice is yours. And don't forget to subscribe to the O5-6 Family YouTube page, channel. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell so you can get notifications as well every time I throw up a video or I throw up a, a show. All right?